Technomancer for zero point fuel. I've kind of got all this worked out here. We got the subgroups set up. Um, what I did is I put one subgroup on here. I want to make sure that one subgroup is able to accelerate the wheel by itself. We've got four subgroups. So if one can push it, the cart motor had three coils in three subgroups. This motor has four three coils in four subgroups. So it should run faster than the cart motor. So I'll get it going here. And we'll see what we got. Uh, half an amp draw for three coils. And that's the most definitely accelerating. I can tell by the sound of it. It's not accelerating hard, but it is accelerating. So as the groups fire, it is accelerating on every push by the subgroups. So that's what I wanted to make sure of. Uh, all the coils are set up. So now I'm going to put the second subgroup on there. I want to show you real quickly some of the changes I made here. So what I have is I've got three positions that can be mounted. As you can see here, this is the old position and I drilled a higher position. So basically I could have three different patterns on the wheel. Um, and then that information has been translated as you can see. I don't know that I can put it on, on here, but basically those patterns are transferred to the coil. And then they're also transferred to the wheel. So, and with the one subgroup, each of these coils, it's a little hard to see, each of these coils on the subgroup are firing at the same time. And that's what's happening within the one subgroup. Uh, what I also did here is I added this little tab so I could lock this so it doesn't shift on me while I'm trying to mark it. And uh, that's a pretty big help because I was having a problem because I have to slip this on and off. I was having a problem with it staying on when I'm on this side. So basically, once I put this little piece on there, like this, you can see here, it stops it from coming off or moving out of adjustment. So you can see that's out of adjustment. And by bolting that down to that part there, it's going to stay aligned perfectly. And I can still take it on and off. I want to show you real quick how the tool works here. I've got the first subgroup on. I'm working on the second subgroup. And if you can see here, it's lined up on the line. So all I have to do here is uh, drill these holes and keep that alignment. And because these tools were used to create the holes in the coils and in the wheel, the alignment's the same every time. Got two subgroups on it. So that's six coils. We're gonna fire it up and see how it does here. Now drawing an amp. And you can already tell the acceleration is a lot faster. So even with six coils firing in three three coils in a group in two subgroups, it's already picking up a lot faster than the first time. You can see here I got this charge now, so Sorry guys, I can't put my laser on it, it just screws it up, so. 184, 6, 8, 93. Now that, that's a pretty good acceleration right there. That's, that's going, picking right up. So, that's six coils. 
three coils per subgroup, two subgroups. We haven't even completed the pattern yet. We're only firing the first, if you're looking at the space between the magnets, we, we're only firing in the two positions. So we still got two more positions uh, to get a con continuous push. Um, next group is about where the cart motor was. The pattern was a little more spread out, but basically the same. So, so yeah, that's that's working great. 1.4 amps. Now, some of my uh, resistor keys are not the same. I have to go through them. I was messing with it trying to get on the sequential pattern. So, I'm not sure about the keys, but 1.4. We can tune that. To whatever amperage we want as long as we're getting the torque we need to drive what will be the PMG that's going to get mounted on it. Ready to do three groups that's nine coils three subgroups and three coils in each group. This is similar to the cart motor except there's a missing section where the cart motor I had uh, had uh, the space between the magnets spread out into three sections. This one has four, so there's actually a missing firing point to complete this pattern. 2.5. Like I said, some of these are not completely accurate yet. 248 already. All right. All right, that's 30 amps DC. And oh, wow. 15 amps already and the wheels not just starting to get up to speed so bouncing around a little bit it might be uh, out of calibration here not too bad oh, okay so 13 amps into the batteries it's not fully efficient yet but like I said, I haven't tuned anything out. But you can tell the difference. The wheel's just taken off now. It's not got that roar like the cart motor, but like I said, we're missing a pattern here. But it's definitely picking up speed pretty quick here. All right, guys, I have four subgroups. I've got 12 coils, three coils in each subgroup. Now, my problem here is that I w had adjusted some of these resistor keys higher and it's late so I'm what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna run it off of uh, home power here and remove the inverter the inverter is only rated at 4 amps and with the spike on the input start it's kicking off the inverter but it's not a big deal I can tune out the resistance of the trigger so that it'll run. It's done it before, but it's late and I'm pretty tired. So what I'm going to do is just run it with four coils just to let you see it run. And then I'll tune it out and I'll do a speed video next. So, so you know, it's, this is house current. So it's not running off of itself right now, but it is set up for four. So it's a cheap inverter, what can I say? So, see, 3.6, 3.7 is spiking that inverter, and it's not, it's not going to work. See, it's hitting four on start, and that's really a resistor thing. So, I'll have it fixed, but it is house power. But you can see 30 amps into the batteries, um, 154 volts. 13.4 on the charge batteries, so 3.8, 3.7 amps, 
and she's a rocking guys gonna have to tune them out so that it works efficiently with the uh, type of inverter but oh yeah jumping up right up right now six second to build up here. We'll see how fast it goes. You see, you see the amperage is remaining about 3 amps, 3.4 amps. So, something ain't right. Got a tick to it. Put my safety glasses on here. Yeah, 3.6. See where we're at now. Sounds like something's loose, so 850, 860. that's climbing it'll easily get up to a thousand at least but something's knocking I, I'm not gonna push it anymore guys 26 amps 3.8 won't kill it we'll have to do the speed check on the next video I don't know if it's a bearing or what, but I'm going to have to check it out. And it's a little too late to, to mess with it. So, it could, it could actually be bumping one of the coils. I don't know. Uh, but the torque's back, guys. For now, this is Technomancer for zero-point fuel. Speed check next. Then the generator mounting.